Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love and Pop Culture. Today I'm on the red carpet for the Make-A-Wish Gala. Take so tell me what the Make-A-Wish Foundation means to you. Um, it really means a lot just because, I mean, I've kind of like, I've grown up thinking cancer sucks because my mom has a bunch of friends that have been through it and um, we had someone pass away that was kind of close to us uh, that passed away and it was very sad. Uh, but I just feel like no one should have to go through cancer. Yeah, and they're also celebrating Nickelodeon, so you have to tell me, what's your favorite show on Nickelodeon? Ooh, that's hard. Um, I would have to say the Thundermans, because I grew up watching that show, and then we filmed right next to them, and we got to go on set with them. It was really fun. Fun? That must have been so exciting for you. Well, I look forward to seeing you on This Is Us next week. Tell me why Make-A-Wish Foundation is so close to your heart. Absolutely. So I joined six years ago. A friend who was on the board thought it would be a great fit for me being a pediatrician. And they didn't have a pediatrician on the board. So I came and I learned about it. And I, I'm absolutely so, I'm just so happy to be a part of it. I can't believe what they do for these kids and the families. We meet them. They talk about what it was like to go through their wish when it's done. And you can just see the joy in the kids still reminiscing about it. So it gives them something to look forward to. They enjoy during. And afterwards, they talk about it for really forever. I mean, we have adult wish kids that are, are here now who will, will speak to that, how it still has like, just been such an important part of their lives. Is there like a story that sticks out to you the most? You know, a lot of people ask me that, and it's so hard because each wish for that kid is huge. So one may want to meet a celebrity, one may want a shopping spree, one wants to go to Moria or Australia, Antarctica, we've done all those. See their faces when they get, like our recent one was this little Yorkie puppy, cutest thing you've ever seen, and I'm a dog person, so I was extra like, so just seeing the kid like crying, getting this little puppy, you're just like, that's why we do this. <laughs> God, oh, so sweet. Well, tell me and tell everyone what they can do to help out. So, we always need donations. This is our biggest fundraiser of the year. So, we hope to raise as much as we can because the average cost of a wish is $10,000. Because we like to include the whole family as much as we can. And so many include travel, and we want to bring everybody. So, we need volunteers. Also, we need miles. People want to volunteer, they can go on our website. So, they, they're, there's two now, but la.wish.org takes you to the link. Wish.org, um, Greater Los Angeles Make a Wish. All of those things will get you there. People are great on the phones, they're super nice. They let people come in, see the organization explain how it works and everyone then comes in and goes I want to do this because it's so great and they're so they're so organized they're so caring and you know and I also it's one of those foundations where we see where every dollar goes everything's accounted for so perfectly so it's like I know if someone donates that money it is going to that oh, wish. MC of the night Nick Cannon always looking amazing. Thank you I appreciate that. So what does Make-A-Wish Foundation mean to you and why was it important for you to host tonight? Uh, I mean honestly I would say the, the substance, the love, the authenticity that comes from Make-A-Wish has always been there every time I've had the opportunity to work with them and whenever they call I pick up. And Nickelodeon because you host stuff on Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's kind of serendipitous in a way. Like the universe is working out. Well, that's it for me on the red carpet. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.